basically right here, check the transmission, if the slate glass, I would check that every time. Everything for a daily checks on this side. So we'll start out in the morning. I'm going to stay out of the cab for now, except for who wants to do that as far as getting into the monitor and the different programs. Uh, swing it out in the back here, swing the fender out, your oil checks in here, your dead stick. There's also a sight glass for your hydraulic oil up on the firewall there, so you can check that every day. Washer fluid's right here. Uh, basically it's set up so you can do a quick check right first thing. Everything's over here, really you need to check. Um, as far as your fluid levels on a daily basis. Fuel fill. Back here, the swing out fan, you've got all your different radiators set up for your hydraulic coolers, engine cooler, everything is separated. If it does get plugged up, you can swing it out, clean it out. Anything that will fit through, these are three millimeter holes, <laughs> so it's set up so that anything that can flow through there will flow right through the radiator and we'll plug it up. So should stay clean most of the time. Uh, storage for chains on this side. I didn't open, there's really not a lot on a daily check. There's nothing you have to do over here. Uh, same swing out here. You got your batteries here. There's a main shut off, thanks to Echo. Uh, so if it's down and you want to kill the machine, just turn it off right here. That's your main disconnect. As far as starting the loader, there's no key. No key? No, you hit, you hit the button one time, that's going to bring the machine up. And then the second time, I'll actually start it. Um, and I can show you that if you want. Well, what makes is this cat? I don't know. <laughs> it could be if they send me a check. <laughs> Uh, really, there's nothing in here you have to worry about with all your sensors. I mean, it's really set up basic. That was one of the last things I did was try to get everything on that side so a daily check's easy. Yep. So you don't have to climb all over to check oil and everything. Um, that's set up for your return to dig. I don't know who uses it, if you guys use that. you got a return to carry on the machine if you have a set height that you like to use. But the return to dig, I know some guys like it for shoulder. I don't know if you guys do much shoulder work. I guess the best best thing really is if you have questions, they ask me. I mean, because there's really not a ton to it as far as what you need to check it. Gotcha. Uh, so if you have some stupid questions, I don't know, Billy, what do you have? A couple buckets. I mean, as far as what? Well, I <coughs> always told where to check the oil, right? Yeah, that's what I started over here. I mean, really, everything's over here. Your hydraulic oil, engine oil. The, uh, the book says it's suggested that you open these wing doors first before you open this because what will happen is this will smash in there. It will bend. So you got to do those rear wings before you, you know, if, if somebody's washing the radiator out or something, you got to open both sides so these, uh, it doesn't smash into it, you know. Because it will mess up these side yep. doors. Okay. And uh, the other thing we've learned from somebody else's experience, if you're going to open those fenders up, like our old loader, we get lazy. We bring it over and wash it and leave the freaking things open. But this, you kind of got to close everything up because we'll take the, we'll take the bullshit doors out. You know, lower doors. Access doors. Right. When you so the if you're, you know, just don't forget to try not to forget to close the doors. You know, the fender, the half, the half one, and uh, the I had top. Been recently. They didn't put it back up. It was on the other side. They must have they left it down. The it definitely done. Oh, this one here? Yeah. It puts down just like the other side yeah. here. Because of the, you know, all your, your tire. But they if, that, if that axle, that axle goes side to side, to side it'll, it'll scorch it. Oh, yeah. Fuels over in that other corner. That, that transmission, when you're looking at the sight glass, it's while it's running in idle. It should be above that high, or it'll be in the hot area. You know, when you get, it'll, if you're above the hot, but when it's cold before we even get in the machine, you'll be all right. 
But for us, maintenance end of it, when we change it and do it and all that, it'll be in between the, it'll be in the thing. But it's got to be in idle you know, to read it correctly. But it says in the book, as long as you're above that high, you're all good to fire it up. Okay, where's the button to start it? It's in the cab. Okay. You'll, you'll learn that when you get up in there. Oh. Check the green button up there from the top. Pull it from the top? Yeah. yeah. No, you guys got to remember it's a bigger machine. You're, you're backing up, you know, it's got a little bit more ass than the other one did. Height wise, you should be good. Go in and out every door. There should be no, there's no issues. It makes it in here, our shop, Fab Shop, the other building over there. Height wise, with a light in the antenna, you'll be all right. You're just going to probably, if your guys are off cruising it on the roads, just watch, you know, the overgrowth and stuff. The, the branches and shit, you know what I mean? When you're cruising along, trying to let something pass, just be careful of. Of, uh, the overgrowth and then when you're cruising it around. This thing's definitely not our other payload. It's more sophisticated. It's all electronics. Um, you know, the get up, get in it, and go kind of thing. He, Gary had mentioned with his new emission bullshit that the engine, you know, needs a little bit more loving, tender, tender care. When he started up, you know, it might take a minute or two. They say before 10 it gets minutes fired up. or 167 degrees to your block, and you'll notice it'll start, it'll run. You go to move it if you hammer it down, and it's not warmed up the block because the emissions just going to knock and sound like it's going to die. Yeah, it'll derate the engine, so it'll, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not waking up yet. It's all it versus your old mechanical bullshit. You get in it, you go, away you go. Where this, you know, it's this definitely is in our number 50 that we used to have. Uh, and you'll find out once you get in the cab. The cab's beautiful, big. Um, every, you know, the rocker switches are gone. It's all push button display. Um, once you fit, I think once everybody gets in it, figures it out, they'll, they'll be all right. You know, it's a learning curve experience. The uh, other one had the shifter on the forward reverse. This one, it's, you know, joystick. But you set it up how you want it, you know, there's just buttons, fans, that heater stuff still knobs, but the lights, you know, everything is controlled by a button. It's got a nice display up there, um, you know, joystick control, air, air seat, everything moves with you. So it's not your seat and your arm sitting there when you're blowing down the road. It's got the ride control just like ours had. Um, you know, it's got BC, it's got the undercarriage wham bam shit so we don't mess anything up from underneath. Um, just like I say, just be careful. You know, it's, it's definitely not our other one. It's got more ass on to it. Watch out backing up. Um, it's 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 a nice machine, a nice machine. But it's just definitely not our old one. It's buttons. You gotta think when you're in this thing. You gotta think about it. If something doesn't work or something's not right to you, it's probably just Stupid little pink of a touchpad, you know. Uh, we'll try and grease it as much as possible. I'm gonna get the five dollar tube stuff now. Oh, your budget? Well, not really. Maybe the ninety-eight cent tube. <laughs> it's lit up pretty good. We'll keep the warning, like I say. Usually we, we don't have any luck with the top structure of anything I out doing the leaves or out spring clean up and stuff. Everything gets wiped out. So just what you like to say, just if you watch the overgrowth a little bit, it would be alright. But it's got, you know, all LED lighting. At night it lights up trick. It's nice. Um, you know, we should have good up trick. trick. It's LED trick lighting, man. <laughs> that was another five, six, it's tricked five out. dollars. Tricked yeah, out. So yeah. lights are blacked on there, really? You know, same thing, getting in and out of this thing. You know, hand holds. You know. You guys got any issues if you're in it and notice something, Gary suggests we, we, had, we head it up and don't stall out and call them. So if you know something's leaking or see something weird or... Something ain't working. And it's got a year 